I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Asus laptop. This one is an Asus VivoBook Flip 14 and the exact model is a TP410U. And in this video, I'm gonna take you over on how to, you can open it up and how you can replace the battery on this one. If your batteries are not holding any charge and you just wanna replace it, then this video is for you, just keep watching. It's really simple and easy to do this. And this applies for any flip book 14. So first thing first, you wanna power off the laptop entirely, completely. You wanna flip it upside down and now you wanna see a whole bunch of screw at the bottom case right here. We're gonna grab a screwdriver and we're gonna remove all the screws down here for the screwdriver set. I use the iFixit screwdriver as they have one of the best bits out there. We're gonna be using a Phillips number one from here. These bits are made out of S2 class steel. They will last you many years, many openings. So yeah. So go ahead and start removing all the screws. I'm just gonna use a magnet attached to the corner to be able to lift them up easy. Also, if you guys like my videos and if it helps you guys out, uh, you can support the channel by clicking that like button and subscribing. I really appreciate it. It will be a great motivation for me to keep doing these videos and helping you guys out. All right, down here we have two types of screws, the short screws which are the front end and the long screws which are from the mid towards the back. And, and once you remove all the screws, keep them in two different piles, the sh long ones and the short ones here. What you need to do, you want to grab yourself an opening tool. You can grab the pro set of this iFixit screwdriver set, which includes you with an opening tools and many other stuff. Or you can go with a cheaper way, which is a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening these covers or cases. I have the link in my video description if you guys are interested. All right, first thing first, what you want to do, you want to open up the laptop and you want to stick the guitar pick between the bottom and top cover just like that, about one or two millimeters. And all you wanna do is just wanna just move it around, do the zigzagging, and you wanna hear big clicks. So that's what you wanna hear. You wanna do all the front side, go to the side, go side back, and do the left and right both sides. Once you remove it, you just wanna Separate the top and the bottom cover. There's a little clips in the middle. Okay, so be careful with this ribbon flex cables right there. You want to open up the laptop a little bit. And then it has a little adhesive on these flex cables right here. So we're just gonna pull it up slowly, gently. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it has a little flex cable right here has an adhesive to it. So we just have to pull it up a little, it's gently. And we're gonna move, lift it up and move it to one side a little bit so we get a little more space here to work with the flex cable for the keyboard. So what you wanna do, you wanna lift up the hinge at the back cover here with your fingernail, just like this. Lift it up 90 degrees. And the flex cable from this side should slide pretty easy. With a backlight, the same thing here. Has a tiny, let me get a tweezers so I don't stick my finger in there, you don't see it. At the back of the clip, there's a tiny hinge, the same thing as a keyboard. Lift it up and pull the flex cable out. Same thing on here, on the trackpad. At the back of the trackpad, lift it up and pull out. And this is it, here. Let me zoom in. All right, so this is the cover I was talking about for the flex cable for this one. You have to lift this back cover, it's gently 90 degrees, and then pull the cable. For the trackpad is this one, lift it up 90 degrees, and pull up this trackpad. And the trackpad, and this is for the keyboard, same thing. Lift it up 90 degrees, and pull up the flex cable. Once you do that, and you can still clean it up quickly if you wish, 
Now down here we're gonna the batteries right here is one and two cell batteries here another cell battery is empty I believe. So we're gonna remove the Wi-Fi cable first. So uh, Wi-Fi card by removing this tape over here. We don't have to disconnect the Wi-Fi, but if you don't want to disconnect the cables and then put it back in, for me, it's easier to remove one screw and lift up the, untangle the cables, lift up the board and slide it out and bring it to one side. So it's easier like this than popping these cables back in. It's just pushing cables. So if you disconnect it, just grab it. Sit it on top and just pinch them together, it will go back here. Alright, the battery, in there's a few screws, this screw holds the caddy and holds the battery at the same time, it's like a pinching them, these two screws right here. We're going to remove this screw right here, the screw right there, there, and there. So go ahead and remove all these screws. Alright, once you remove the screws, you can actually go ahead and lift up the battery. Bring it up. In in here, you can slide it out, but to make it life even easier, go ahead and remove the four screws for the hard drive caddy. That will make your life even easier, so you have less chance of breaking the contact here. So go ahead and remove the four screws that hold the caddy. And put them in a separate. So now we can actually lift up the hard drive, the back end of the hard drive a little bit higher, and slide it out and put it to one side. And I can actually lift up the battery with no issue. But before that, we're gonna lift up the jack, just pull it upward. So you don't have to pull it towards the battery, just pull it towards the ceiling, and the battery will come out eventually. All right, and this is pretty dirty. And the model for this battery, it's right over here. It says B31N1705. I'll try to get some link for this ones and I'll leave them in a the video description if I can find one. Let's say that you have the new battery in, you want to bring it up, align it, set it right there and push down the connector right towards the motherboard. Just push it down straight from the top and it will go in place. Grab the hard drive, bring it down in 45 ohms degree, push it towards the contact and then push it towards the bottom casing. Put the four screws for the hard drive. Actually, I'm gonna give you a tip on how you're supposed to charge the battery. So first, let's finish this one up. All right, once you got those in, now put the rest of the screws for the battery to hold it in place. Once you're done with that, just grab the Wi-Fi board, bring it into the jack, push it towards the jack, and just put the screw for it right beside it. Now, to put back down the whole thing, you need to first put this flex cable for the backlight first. So, I think it's easier to flip the screen all the way back. So let's go ahead and flip the screen all the way back so you guys can see it easily. So this is a flip book. So now I can move the flex cable even the whole palm rest back. So let me see if I have something to support this right there. So we're going to open up the jack from the back and slide down the flex cable right there all the way in and lock it down once i have it like that now we're gonna put the flex cable for the uh, touch but trackpad slide it in and lock it down for the keyboard i like it to bring it in an offset position so i get more cable here to work with And we're going to slide it right there and lock it down. And uh, one of the last thing down here will be to align the palm rest on top and just pinch the top and the bottom cover all together. 
Once it's done, now all you need to do is to flip it upside down and put the bottom screws. Remember the short screws are the front end and the long screws are from the mid towards the back. Now, if you have the battery in here and first initial charge on the battery is gonna be about 30 or 40% charged. So you don't want to power on the laptop, you want to leave it in an off uh, position. So while it's powered off, connect it and leave it for four to five hours charging without turning it on. After that, you can just turn it on and use it the way you want it. You don't want to turn on the laptop while it's with an initial charge that it came from the factory with a 45% or less. So before you power it on, let us sit down charging for about five to six hours. And as always, uh, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click the like button and think about subscribing. And I'll really appreciate it. Also, the screw on this side, on the right side, it's a little bit medium size. So there's a short screws, long screws, and the one on the right corner, this is a, sh a medium size screws. So make sure you put the medium size screw right there. As always, thanks for watching guys, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.